unlocking hidden wisdom within. Four life-changing lessons from Shlomo ben Yehuda Gabro that you can't afford to miss. In the illuminated corridors of wisdom, where the echo of Shlomo ben Yehuda Gabro's profound insights reverberates through the annals of time, we are gifted with a profound delineation of human disposition towards knowledge and self-awareness. This categorization, not merely a taxonomy of intellectual states, but a roadmap for navigating the complexities of human interaction and personal development, merits a detailed exploration. At the outset, the first archetype presented to us is the individual who is both aware of his knowledge and cognizant of its extent. This person, an embodiment of wisdom, stands as a beacon of enlightenment in a world often shrouded in the mists of ignorance. The sages of yore, including our revered King Solomon, whose wisdom was unparalleled, 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 10 has always exhorted us to seek counsel from such individuals. For in their counsel lies the key to unlocking the treasures of wisdom, as stated in Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. The Talmud extols the virtues of learning from the wise, for their knowledge like a fountain flows and refreshes all who draw near. The second category introduces us to those who possess knowledge yet are unaware of the depth of their own understanding. This state, akin to a treasure buried in one's own field, unknown and unutilized, represents a potential that begs to be realized. The ethical imperative to help him not forget what he knows is reminiscent of the duty to awaken one's own inner potential and that of others. It is a call to nurture and cultivate the latent wisdom within, much like the Talmudic injunction to review and reinforce one's learning, as stated in Aruvin 54b, ensuring that the light of knowledge once kindled does not dim. The third type is one who recognizes his own ignorance. This humble admission is the first step on the ladder of wisdom, for acknowledging one's limitations is the precursor to genuine learning. The Talmud avers that a bashful person cannot learn, as it discusses in Perkyava, chapter 2, verse 5, implying that the recognition of one's own ignorance is foundational to the acquisition of knowledge. To teach him is not merely an act of imparting information, but an act of empowering him to embark on a journey of intellectual and spiritual growth. Lastly, we encounter the individual who, bereft of knowledge, feigns wisdom. This is the most perilous of states, for delusion not only impedes one's own growth, but also has the potential to mislead others. The sages caution against such folly, for it is written in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7, Do not be wise in your own eyes. The Talmudic tales abound with admonitions against pride and the pretense of knowledge, teaching us that true wisdom lies in humility and the fearless acknowledgement of our limitations. In synthesizing these insights, we are reminded of the overarching principle that guides our interaction with knowledge and with one another. The pursuit of wisdom is not merely an intellectual endeavor, but a moral and spiritual journey. It is a journey marked by humility, honesty, and reverence for the Creator, who is the source of all wisdom. Each category of person Shlomo ben Yehuda Gabriel describes invites us to reflect on our own approach to knowledge and learning. Are we seekers of wisdom, humble learners, or are we ensnared in the illusion of our own understanding? The wisdom of Shlomo ben Yehuda Gabriel, much like the teachings of our sages, offers us a mirror to examine our own souls and a guide to perfecting our character. In the quest for knowledge and understanding, let us strive to embody the virtues of the wise, to awaken potential within ourselves and others, to embrace the humility of learning, and to eschew the folly of pretense. For in the tapestry of human experience, each thread of knowledge and understanding is interwoven with the fibers of moral character, forming a fabric that is both beautiful and enduring. As we navigate the complexities of human interaction and personal development, let us hold fast to these timeless principles, ensuring that our pursuit of knowledge is always guided by humility, integrity, and a profound reverence for the divine. In this way, we honor the legacy of Shlomo ben Yehuda Gabriel and the wisdom of our tradition, illuminating the path for ourselves and for generations to come.